The Phoenix Suns are early winners so far in NBA free agency. They not only landed Yuta Watanabe, but they managed to sign him for just the veteran minimum, which is insane considering that players of Yuta's caliber usually make at least nine figures in today's NBA. Last year, the Suns were expected to win the NBA championship, largely thanks to their elite talent, but there were too many holes on the roster, which caused them to flame out in the second round. The Suns added even more star talent when they traded for Bradley Beal, but those same team weaknesses still existed. But the Yuta Watanabe signing changes everything. This video will explain how the Yuta signing unlocks the Suns offense, making Phoenix unstoppable and even level up their defense as well. In Phoenix, Yuta will play a similar role to what he was playing in Brooklyn, and that's a knockdown shooter who opens the floor up for his star teammates. Last season, Yuta was one of the best three-point shooters in the league, which made him a great complement next to Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. He was leading the league at three-point percentage at one point, and ended the season shooting an outstanding 44% from deep. That hot shooting will be a breath of fresh air for a Suns team that lacked good shooting outside of Kevin Durant and D. Book in last year's playoffs. In the Suns' second round defeat to the Nuggets, they only shot 28% from deep in the series. Too many poor shooters allowed the Nuggets to send help defenders on Kevin Durant and D. Book, while only giving up open looks to bad shooters. Watch how on this Kevin Durant and DeAndre Ayton pick and roll, KCP has sacked completely off of Josh Okogie to clog the lane. Durant passes it out to Okogie for the corner three, and he completely bricks it. This time, Kevin Durant is going to run the two-man game with Bismack Biombo, but once again, the Nuggets can ignore Josh Okogie to stifle the Suns. Notice how Michael Porter Jr. is sagging off of Josh Okogie again. Durant passes it to Okogie on the corner three, but once again, he completely bricks it. This time, Durant is going to find himself getting doubled, and Torrey Craig is going to say, hold my beer, because he airballs this corner three. Throughout the Nuggets Sun series, Denver was free to ignore poor shooters, which also made it more difficult for D. Book and KD to make in shots. But now with Yuta Watanabe in the lineup, the Suns have a player that'll punish teams that choose to load up on their stars by draining the catch and shoot threes. Overall, the Suns' spacing should be a lot better. Many have questioned the fit of the Suns' big three, but all three of these players are good off the ball and they're deadly shooters. They're also all willing passers. Now with Yuta as a fifth starter, the Suns now have four excellent shooters in the starting lineup and a starting center in DeAndre Ayton, who's deadly as a lob catcher and play finisher. The Phoenix Suns could be one of the greatest offenses the NBA has ever seen. At any given moment, the Suns can clear out and give one of their big three the spacing to go to work. Each member of the Suns' big three are efficient shot creators, and this time around, the Suns can punish teams that load up on their star players by kicking the ball out to a knockdown shooter or finding the lob catcher in the dunker spot. There will be no stopping the Suns next season, only picking your poison. And Yuta is not only going to improve the Suns' offensive attack, but also level up their team defense. Yuta is an excellent defender. He's got great size for a wing player at 6'7 with a 6'10 wingspan, and he's pretty agile, making him capable of guarding multiple positions. Yuta will most likely get the job of defending the other team's best perimeter player, and in a Western Conference that has superstar wings like LeBron and Kawhi Leonard, Yuta's defense will be super valuable come playoff time. And overall, I think the Suns' defense will be a lot better than expected. Defense was another concern that many fans had after the Suns made the Bradley Beal trade, but DeAndre Ayton has been a good defensive anchor for years. Kevin Durant is sneakily an excellent defender. Devin Booker was a poor defender earlier in his career, but he's leveled up his defense in recent years, and now the Suns have Utah. Bradley Beal is the clear weak link for the Suns' defense, but he's shown he could be a good defender in the past, and perhaps he was demotivated playing on a losing Washington team all those years. But overall, I would expect the Suns to rank in the top 10 in defense next year. Overall, the Yuta Watanabe signing is an incredible bargain for the Phoenix Suns. High level 3 and D players, 
tend to make over 10 million a season in today's NBA. Getting him at the veteran minimum is an absolute steal. He's going to improve the Suns quite a lot on both ends of the court. Last season, the Suns were able to get two wins against the champions despite having a roster that was extremely flawed. With the increased shot creation and shooting that Bradley Bill will bring, and the elite 3 and D play that Yuta will bring, maybe the outcome will be different should the Suns and Nuggets meet in the playoffs again next year. Anyway guys, that's going to be the end of the video. What do you think of the Suns signing Yuta? Do you think they could win next year's title? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want to see more dope content just like it, please drop a like on the video and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys next video.